Hey everybody, this is Alec Koros and I'm in Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. And uh, I'm here to tell you a quick story. Uh, this is in response to Jim Groom's project, his digital storytelling course that goes by DS106 on the net. And it's also a bit of a response to Steve Dembo's uh, fitness Fit42 challenge, uh, which if you can tell by my breathing, I really need that particular challenge. Um, but here I'm going to tell you a quick story. Obviously it's a bit cold out here, but uh, a week ago today I was actually in a much nicer climate. I was in Hawaii on Oahu. And uh, what was really nice about that, I spent some time with family. Um, the first day I was there, uh, the first time we hit the beach, I posted some of my photographs uh, to Flickr. Darcy Norman has been to Hawaii at least a couple of times, I think, and uh, he noted where we were. He could identify by the beach where we were and so on, and uh, gave me some advice in the, in the comments on Flickr to check out uh, Hana Umabe. Sorry if I said that wrong, um, but it was a beautiful place. I took up Darcy's uh, advice, and we went out there as a family, uh, I think three or four times. First day I went there, uh, tried to get my six-year-old girl to snorkel with me. Uh, she didn't want to try. She was a little bit worried. So I tried to kind of convince her over the time. But exactly a week ago today, um, she decided that she wanted to give it a shot. She just oh, she just kind of gained the courage to try it, grabbed my hand, and asked me to uh, go snorkeling with her. And it was really, really kind of cool. Um, as we walked out, put on our gear, kind of tightened everything up, um, and it was just, you know, we were just floating over over the reef, looking at the fish. Uh, absolutely amazing. It was just a beautiful, clear day, clear under the water. Um, and while we're floating, you know, I'm holding my precious girl's little hand, and you could just hear her excitement. It was really kind of neat when you think about connecting in a different way. I talk about connecting all the time, you know, connecting online and PLNs and all that sort of stuff. Um, but this is a different type of connection, which I think is really quite important. You could just hear her, you know, her excitement muffled under the water through her mask, which was just uh, quite amazing to me. So uh, an amazing story for me. Sometimes stories are um, better experienced and not quite as good told by someone else outside of the context, but I think many of you can can relate to that kind of story uh, with loved ones, for instance. That reminded me a little bit about um, Ben Gray actually just responded to this uh, story as well, to the storytelling assignment, and he talked about living life in seconds, and uh, that that is something that's been really important to me for a long time, is this whole idea of living life in seconds. Uh, one of my favorite quotes... Um, from back in the day, I was from, I'm getting into deep snow here, from a guy by the name of Cesare Pavese, I think that's how you say it, and uh, I think it was something like, we do not remember days, we remember moments, uh, there's more to that as well, but that's been something really important to me, and so, you know, that, that part of it is really important in terms of what you learn from, from an experience like that, but the other part is also that's quite important in this respect is this whole idea of contrast and that's one of the reasons I'm out here because I think context has everything to do with the story is how much we actually learn um, when we look at context uh, sorry contrast uh, we kind of experience you know life and death and climate and health and uh, you know a lot of things in contrast a lot of things that are most important and I just think we have to continually think that way um, about how much we learn from the contrasting experiences in my life. And I believe right now I'm pretty much stuck in the snow, so I'm going to have to end my story. But anyway, that wasn't real poignant or, or anything, but I thought I'd share my brief story about Hawaii, uh, my life in Saskatchewan here. And I hope others do take on the challenge to tell their stories in whatever they, way they like uh, for this class, which will be really exciting as it goes on. Thanks, everyone. See you. Bye.